The 3.5mm jack was once a universal feature found on every phone, tablet, and laptop. It didn't matter whether you had an iPhone, Android, or some weird knockoff MP3 brand. You had one jack to rule them all. But then Tim and Apple did something, and then poof, it was gone. Well, not really, it's still on the Mac. But you won't find it on most smartphones made by major manufacturers nowadays. And now every time you get a new phone, you gotta ask yourself, Am I ready to go full wireless or do I want to carry a dongle and then lose it on the commute? So what really happened to the 3.5mm jack? Was it quote unquote courage? Like what Phil said in 2016 or was it just corporate greed disguised as innovation? Well, let's find out. Believe it or not, the concept of an audio jack itself is actually really old. Like the design itself dates back to the 1870s. But back then, they were mostly used for telephone switchboards. Fast forward to the 1950s and the 6.35mm jack was shrunk down to the 3.5mm we use today. Or rather, don't use. The reason for the shrinking was the explosive demand for personal audio products like radio sets, and by the 70s and 80s, they were everywhere from radios, plane cockpits, and the iconic Sony Walkman, which made the 3.5mm jack an even more popular staple of consumer electronics. And by the 90s, it was the universal standard for anything with audio. Headphones, CD players, and TVs all had it. In fact, the first iPhone that came out in 2007 actually had a headphone jack, something that the newest iPhone 16 Pro Max doesn't even have. And do you know why it lasted for so long? Because it was a simple plug and play. It was universal and it just worked. It didn't require any software. All you had to do was plug in the jack and boom, audio would play. But apparently, there was a problem. So, what's your vision for the future of smartphones? Fewer holes? You're hired. And as you can imagine, this will cause problems later down the line. Apple removed the 3.5mm jack from the iPhone 7 in 2016. And while they claimed it was to free up space for more advanced features like water resistance and the Taptic engine, let's be honest. We all know that's a cap. Proof is, both the S8 and Note 8 had headphone jacks and they both were IP68 rated. They just wanted to push wireless audio, specifically AirPods. And at first, a lot of people were obviously furious over this. They mocked Apple for removing a feature that was still useful. And soon enough, their competitors followed this trend only to do the same thing a few years later. Samsung laughed at Apple and then they removed the jack with S20. Google mocked Apple, then removed the jack with the Pixel 2. OnePlus, well, they never settled. Except for removing the headphone jack with OnePlus 7. Now, if you want a high quality wired audio, you either get a dongle and lose it unexpectedly, buy USB-C headphones that probably won't work on your next device, or you can just give up and buy wireless audio that can die after 4 hours. And somehow, budget phones like Xiaomi's and Redmi's still have the headphone jack because apparently wired audio is seen as quote-unquote poor. And I know well that some of you might say that wireless is the future, and that might be true. But don't you hate it when your Bluetooth headphones suddenly die? Meanwhile, wired headphones have zero latency, no pairing issues, and unlimited battery. The aftermath of the removal of the headphone jack has brought both a positive and negative impact on the industry. On one side, it undeniably pushed Bluetooth technology to be better, but it also creates extremely unnecessary inconveniences like carrying dongles or compatibility issues. I really hate it when I can't use the full features of my AirPods on an Android phone. And let's not forget about the sheer disposability of these products. Like wireless earbuds and headphones have batteries inside them that degrade over time, meaning we have to replace them every so few years. Planned obsolescence, Maybe, but it would still be better if we didn't have to replace them every so few years. My final thought, was it worth it? No, especially for us consumers. This is a classic case of corporations forcing a change on their consumers to benefit themselves rather than actually innovating. Did we get any real benefit from this? And what about Apple's reasons to remove the headphone jack? Did we get better battery life? Yes, but that's mostly due to better battery density. Did we get thinner phones? 
No, somehow that iPhone 15 Pro is thicker than the iPhone 6S Plus. Did we get better ingress protection with the iPhone 7? Yes, we did, but it still doesn't justify why Apple removed the headphone jack just for water resistance, considering the fact that Samsung's Note 8 had both an S Pen slot and a headphone jack while still being IP68 rated. So what was your excuse, Apple? So what did the removal of a headphone jack actually gave to us consumers? Here's what I'll tell you. It gave us more dongles, more expensive proprietary accessories, and more garbage e-waste. What's even worse is that they claim that it was necessary for the iPhones to be thinner. Yet the MacBook Air, which by the way is thinner, still has it. And no, I'm not telling Apple to remove it from the Macs either. If they did, every pro user of the Mac would personally go to California and burn down their headquarters. Because guess what? Professional audio is still wired. If you've ever seen a music producer, DJ, or audio engineer at work, you'll notice one thing. Almost all of them use wired audio. Go into any recording studio, radio station, or live concert setup and you won't see people using AirPods to mix and master tracks. That's because of the zero latency and superior sound quality of wired audio. Pro devices and Mac still have the headphone jack. Apple and the other companies just remove it from their phones to sell more AirPods. And don't get me wrong, wireless audio is nice. I personally use them. AirPods are great, but they're also expensive, easy to lose, and need charging. Meanwhile, a cheap pair of wired earbuds, they just work. In short, the headphone jack didn't die a natural death. It was absolutely murdered by the big tech giants. But what do you guys think about the removal of the headphone jack? Drop your thoughts in the comments below, and as always, thanks for watching. Love you all. Goodbye.